Hey guys, how's it going? Another Wednesday. I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's commented and everyone who's subscribed to our channel. It's really nice. It's a very supportive uh, audience we have. It's really nice. I'm making a lot of awesome friends. Alright, so thank you. And hopefully this channel will continue to be something that you guys can turn to when you need answers or help or if you just want to listen to someone talk about their experiences. Yeah. Thanks guys. Okay, so this week the topic or question is if you could go back to before you started transitioning and tell yourself one thing, I guess, just one, what would it be? And before I do this again, this little procrastination of this topic, hardcore, my transition has been pretty good. A uh, lot of support, not a lot of harassment, which I'm very grateful for, and a lot of stuff that's happened because I didn't know any better or because I wasn't confident enough hasn't really been bad enough that I'd ever want to go back and change it. You know, it's kind of made me who I am today and I think that's important. These life experiences, good and bad, make you the type of person you are. And not completely, I mean, there's... there's <laughs> Having said all that, the one thing I would go back and tell myself to be wary of is uh, my hormone therapy and starting that and starting the estrogen blockers and I think I would direct myself to find a better way um, to be able to just start testosterone and not do the six months of shitty estrogen blockers just I think that's more for the relationship aspect. Um, because I think I've mentioned it before uh, that I kind of went emotionally berserk on those stupid fucking estrogen blockers. And, uh,. I feel like that had a really negative impact on my relationship, which helped lead it to its death, if you will. Uh, and I'm not saying that not taking estrogen blockers would have saved the relationship and we'd still be together and super in love and everything would be sunshine and rainbows and you know, gingerbread cookies with smiley faces on them. No. I'm not that naive anymore. Um, but maybe it wouldn't have ended in a way that I feel embarrassed about. That's maybe selfish, but the whole idea of going back and telling yourself something you've learned now is a selfish idea. You know? Because you're, you're depriving yourself of learning through experience prevent something that you now think is embarrassing so you go back to stop it before it happens the whole thing is selfish I think if that's what you're going to do so I'm just a very selfish person but yeah that's the only thing that I really don't like about my transition process and I'm assuming that's cat. My neighbor's cat. Very skittish. Uh, 
yeah, it's just a useless thing that kind of, it just made me really depressed. <laughs> well, what's the point of that? Like, the whole point of transitioning is to become happier and more stable, so, I don't know, I just felt like they were trying to sabotage the whole operation from the get-go. It's kind of, I don't know, so that's what I would tell myself. Go back and say, hey, don't let them do this to you. And then maybe your relationship can end with a bit of dignity instead of you sobbing like a little schoolgirl or something. I don't know. It was really, it was really bad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next week. Next Wednesday. Yeah.